Hi there guys and girls, it's that British Gamer again and today oh today our old friend Justin returns uh, I don't know if this is a pre-recorded video because he claims that he's gone off to have facial feminization surgery and his face doesn't look any different in this video so yeah I'm assuming that he's uh, yeah see no real difference um, and this time he's talking about being transgender is not a mental illness now <laughs> You could debunk this video without even watching it. I mean, seriously. To be transgen, you know, to to go through transitioning, you have to be diagnosed with gender dysphoria, which is a mental illness. I mean, what what more do you want to fucking? There's literally that is all I have to say, and this whole video is debunked. But let's just see what the clueless twat has to say for himself again. Oh, hang on, we, we have got to plug some earphones in and turn the volume up because I am not fucking up the audio again. There we go, that should be better. Transgender is a mental illness. Some of these people just straight up hate trans people and use mentally ill as a derogatory meant to insult us. But some of these people have good intentions and say that being trans is a mental illness because they know that many trans people need access to hormones and surgeries to feel okay. No, they say transgenderism is a mental illness because gender dysphoria, the thing that makes you a transsexual or, you know, whatever, that is a fucking mental illness, Justin. Doesn't matter how you spin it, doesn't matter how you try and fucking change it, it's a mental illness. For the first group, I think they're just lashing out because they don't understand what it means to be transgender, and that's scary for them. It's the same reason people used to say that all gay people were mentally ill. I mean, there are certainly people who still believe that today, but it used to be a much more common belief. Homos right, well, <clears throat> that's because things were a lot different back then. Um, there weren't that many gay people out in the open. Um, people did, it wasn't as open as it is now. Um, I mean, you could make the argument, and I mean, this is me being, playing devil's advocate, that, um, you know, homosexuality is a kind of, like, something's gone wrong in your head, because evolutionarily speaking, Two dudes or two girls fucking does not produce children, does not advance the series, and oh my god, your fucking koala bear Jem'Hadar throat fucking makes me laugh. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to get technical, then maybe you could say that it's some sort of mental illness. But gay people and lesbians don't tend to kill themselves at the rate that people with gender d d uh, dysphoria do. I mean, the suicide rate for gender dysphoric people is massively high, even after transition. So, um, please remind me how it's not a mental illness, Justin. Sexuality was even listed in the DSM-2 as a mental disorder. The DSM, by the way, is the American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, which is the standard used in the U.S. to diagnose people with mental illnesses. If someone is afraid of trans people or gay people and is determined to believe that they're all mentally ill, then I don't think there's anything I can say to change their mind. But because it's... <laughs> Transgender people are mentally ill, Justin. Um... This is another case of you trying to change the definition to suit you because you want to say you're transitioning and I don't have gender dysphoria. Well, then you don't, there's no need for you to transition because gender dysphoria is basically you hating your gender to the point of you want to get rid of it. You want to be the other gender. That is the point of gender dysphoria. And you sitting there and saying, oh, it's not a mental illness. You're really fucking taking the piss out of proper trans people who struggle like fuck with their illness. You're, you're a fucking disgusting human being at times, Justin. You come out with this video last time going, oh, all my haters are so horrible to me. I'm, I'm transitioning. I'm on hormones. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And everyone's still so mean to me to garner all this sympathy. And then people make apology videos to you going, oh, I'm so sorry, Riley. We didn't mean to upset you or hurt your fifis. But then you come out the next video with even more bullshit that is even more damaging to the trans community than you could ever fucking know. You're just a fucking disgusting human being, Justin. A disgusting human being.
But for the second group of people who are just trying to make sure that trans people still have access to necessary medical care, I think this is just a misunderstanding of the difference between gender dysphoria and being transgender. So to to be to oh my god, really? You're going I don't understand the mental Olympics you play in your head. The gymnastics you must go through is unbelievable. Someone who is gender dysphoric is is basically someone who is transgendered pretty much. What you're saying is you don't need gender dysphoria to transition. What you are saying, Justin, is you don't hate your gender the, to the point where you want to get rid of it. You're saying you're comfortable with being a man. Go any further, we need some definitions. And the problem with definitions is that for every word, there is often a lot of conflicting definitions. No, your problem with proper definitions is they don't suit your narrative. So you have to go out and find, keep Googling until you find one that does and it's very rare that we all agree on the same one. Definitions for certain words can vary widely between dictionaries, and words that have recently gained new meanings or connotations might not be accurately described in every dictionary. Dictionaries are meant to describe how we use language, not dictate how we use it. Often when it comes to a field with rapidly evolving language, like transgender issues, our best bet is listening to the experts in that field who have come up with the most accurate definitions possible based on their experiences. With all of Yes, psychiatrists who call you gender dysphoric if you want to transition. I mean, do you not listen to yourself? We should listen to the experts. What, you mean Tumblr? Because that's what you fucking mean. That being said, we need to decide on definitions for the word transgender and the phrase gender dysphoria. Let's start with transgender. This is the Oxford Dictionary's definition of transgender. Denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender does not correspond with their birth sex. You'll notice this definition doesn't include any kind of binary, which leaves room for non-binary transgender people. Oh my god, yeah, because they don't specific- because they didn't think that there would be crazy motherfuckers who would try and say that there are unlimited genders. That's why. We'll talk about that more in just a minute. This is Dictionary.com's definition of transgender. Noting or relating to a person whose gender identity does not correspond to that person's biological sex assigned at birth. You'll notice that this definition is also not binary. And this is the Merriam-Webster's definition of transgender. Of relating to or being a person whose gender identity differs from the sex the person had or was identified as having at birth. And it also includes an older, more binary definition, which is of relating to or being a person whose gender identity is opposite the sex the person had or was identified as having at birth. There are Small yes, that's what we call the proper definition, Justin. All discrepancies between all three of these. The Oxford Dictionaries says birth sex instead of sex assigned at birth or sex the person was identified as having at birth. And the because, Justin, when you are born, if you have a dick, you are a man or a boy. If you have a vagina, you are a girl. That is not assigning. That is making an observation and going, you have a penis, you're a boy. Or you have a vagina, you're a girl. They're not making a fucking prediction on what you will be in adult life. They are just looking at you at that moment and saying, you are a boy, you are a girl. Merriam-Webster includes a definition that is more binary than the other two because it says that a gender identity can be opposite of another gender identity. But those are just dictionaries. How do the experts and trans rights groups define being transgender? Well, oh, here we go. How do the... Yeah, well, right. the American Psychiatric Association's definition of transgender is the broad spectrum of individuals who transiently or persistently identify with a gender different from their natal gender. The National Center for Transgender Equality's definition is transgender people are people whose gender identity is different from the gender they were thought to be at birth. And Glad's definition of transgender is a term used to describe people whose gender identity differs from the sex they were assigned at birth. So what does all of this mean? It means that we can't agree on a single definition of what it means to be transgender. No, what it means, Justin, is a load of special snowflakes have harped up, used their feels before reels, and have banged on the about their definition and they've kept on and some places have changed their definitions other places have gone no fuck you so what you're trying to do is muddy the water so that you can fucking go oh there's enough doubt here you know aspect of doubt seeds of doubt we can't all you know fuck off you are a man justin i don't give a fuck what you try and project you're a man but these definitions do all have a lot in common. Most of them agree that being transgender doesn't fall within a binary. Which yes, it does. The very fucking purpose of transitioning, it's- You are transitioning from one sex 
to another. That is the point. If you were born a man and you want to be a woman, you turn from a man into a woman. That is the point of being a transgendered person. It's not, oh, well, I don't feel like I'm a man, but I don't know what I am. So I will just transition to nothingness. Because that's what you're fucking saying. You are insane. It drives me mad how fucking insane you are. And yet, you can sit there and do a teary, oh, woe is me, everyone's so mean to me video, to try and garner sympathy. You are a fucking disgusting cunt. Which means that non-binary people can be transgender because they identify with a gender that is different from the one they were assigned at birth. Most of these definitions agree that a person has an assigned gender at birth rather than a gender they were born as. No. No, they don't, Justin. You were born as one sex. That is how it fucking works. If you have a dick, you are a man. If you have a pussy, you are a girl. For fuck's sake. Honestly. This is what I mean about you twisting your fucking definitions. A doctor does not look at you and go, Oh, well, you got a penis, but you're a girl. Oh, well, you got a pussy, you're a boy. They don't fucking do that shit. Are you... I would rather trust someone who has been through like seven years of medical training than some fucking tumblerette piece of shit like yourself. And all of them agree that it is a self-identification. It's a way that people identify themselves. So I would argue that the best definition of transgender is an umbrella term used to describe people who don't identify with the gender they were assigned. See, this is what I mean. Oh, well, I don't agree with all these definitions because some of them don't agree with me. So therefore I'll make up my own and that's what we'll go with from now on. That is what we call a fucking straw man. You are building your own argument to knock it down and you don't... F no one's... Oh, just fucking hell. I don't think I'm going to get through the whole of this video because it is really making me angry. At birth. And now that we have a definition for transgender, we need a definition for gender dysphoria. This is the definition given by the Oxford Dictionaries, but the problem with this definition is that it's binary. It says that- Oh god. Yeah, the problem with this definition that is written by people who fucking are authorities on the English language is it doesn't conform with what I wanted to say. Because it talks about biological sex and opposites and stuff. It doesn't equate for my 20 trillion genders, so I, I don't like it. People can only identify as male or female, and it positions them as opposites of each other. We'll get more into the binary stuff in a second, but first let's look at a couple other dictionary definitions. This is the Merriam-Webster- How many dictionary definitions have you actually looked at now? I mean, seriously, you've looked at several different dic dictionaries, and then you ignore them anyway. So why are you fucking bothering? ...definition, which doesn't use binary language at all, and calls gender dysphoria a distressed state or a psychological disorder. The problem with this is that technically gender dysphoria is not classified as a disorder anymore. In the DSM-4, gender dysphoria was called gender identity disorder. But when the APA came out with the DSM-5 in 2013, they dropped gender identity disorder and added gender dysphoria. They were very clear that gender dysphoria is not a disorder, and this change was made with the intent of depathologizing that experience. And lastly, this is the dictionary.com definition, which also doesn't use binary language and describes gender dysphoria as a psychological condition rather than a disorder. So when it comes to gender dysphoria, dictionaries... But it doesn't matter what words you put to it, it's still a mental fucking illness. Look at your smug fucking face. Literally, I think a couple more minutes of this and I'm just gonna fucking flip, so... ...really don't agree with each other. But when talking about gender dysphoria, we really need a solid definition that everyone can agree on. The... No! Yes, we do! We had one, but you didn't like it, so you changed it! This is why people get pissed off with you. You don't like something, so you have to change it to suit your narrative. And then people get pissed off with you because you are changing things to suit your narrative. And you go, oh, but why are you getting pissed off with me? Because you just fucking stupid, Justin. My God! The best place we can go to for that is the professional organization that actually diagnoses gender dysphoria, the American Psychiatric Association. In the DSM-5, the newest edition of the DSM, the APA says, Gender dysphoria refers to the distress that may accompany the incongruence between one's experienced or expressed gender and one's assigned gender. Although not all individuals will experience distress as a result of such incongruence, many are distressed if the desired physical interventions by means of hormones and or surgery are not available. You'll notice that this definition is not binary, and that's because the APA believes that gender non-binary people can experience gender dysphoria. That's why the Oxford Dictionary's binary definition seems outdated. When di No. It's because over in Britain, thankfully, we don't acknowledge the made-up bullshit that comes out of your fucking mouth. There are two motherfucking genders, Justin. Two. Man and woman. 
There is nothing else. There is no in between. There is no fucking sparkle pony make believe fucking bullshit other than men and women. Just because you're a man, Justin, doesn't mean you can't dress up in women's clothes. No, I've always said this. I think you're a transvestite. I just think you like dressing up as a woman and living as a woman. And do you know what? There's nothing fucking wrong with that. If you were just fucking honest with yourself, didn't play the special snowflake Olympic oppression point bullshit and just come out with it and go, yeah, I'm a man. I like to dress in women's clothes. No one would bat a fucking eyelid. Hardly anyone would, as you know, because obviously there are people who just don't like that shit. But no one, hardly anyone would care, Justin. But no, you have to invent this massive, elaborate fucking victim complex story around your whole identity to make yourself feel better and, and somehow more relevant in today's society. Well... I'm going to inform you as someone. No one gives a fuck about you, Justin. You are just one in a f several billion people. Everyone is unique in their own way. You don't have to go out and literally invent uniqueness. Humanity is unique enough. Now, I can't do any more of this video because seriously, I'm actually getting ragey. I can actually feel my... The, 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 the sheer denial of facts is just absolutely insane I can't even look at your face anymore Justin and it, it that just goes to show why you shouldn't give him any sympathy none whatsoever because he'll come out with a video that everyone will go oh Justin oh poor poor baby we feel so bad for you and then you'll come out with utter horse shit, which is so damaging, it's unbelievable. And then you'll shrug your shoulders and go, why am I getting all this hate? No one's read my source. Your sources are bullshit. All of it is feels before reels. You just keep looking and looking and you pull out the most obscure bullshit. And frankly, I don't give a shit anymore, Justin. Just fucking grow up. Stop being such a fucking chip on your shoulder victim motherfucker and get on with your goddamn life no one gives a fuck no one thinks you're special no one thinks you're unique the only reason people attack you is you because you keep coming out with utter horse shit which is completely fucking it's a complete made-up fallacy you live in a fucking cloud cuckoo land make-believe bullshit world and you need to leave there if you like me getting angry and mad, like, comment, and subscribe. This that British gamer, I'll fucking speak to you again. I need to go and get really drunk now.